Hi and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create a Photoshop bubble brush. I'm going to be using Photoshop CS5 on a Macintosh, but heck, if you're using a PC, you can follow along and learn as well. Why would you want to create a bubble brush? Well, there are all kinds of applications. I'll go ahead and walk you through step by step on how to create one, and then I'll show you what I would use a bubble brush for. The first thing I'm going to do is obviously open up my Photoshop and again I don't know if I mentioned this but this is Photoshop CS5 I think I did mention it. Um, it's old age it's getting to me. <laughs> We're gonna launch Photoshop I'm gonna go file new going to create a new document and I've already preset uh, the measurements to an 8x8 200 pixels per inch uh, for the resolution. Some brushes that you find online, if you're hunting for brushes to use in Photoshop, you'll find are low resolution. If you increase the size, they look pixelated. That's because they're built at a lower resolution. I work with higher resolution photos, so therefore the brushes that I create, I want them to be higher resolution. However, if you, for some reason you don't want to create a high resolution bub, uh, brush, go ahead and knock the resolution down. But for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to just start with a 200 uh, pixel per inch uh, resolution 8x8 eight eight, uh, box and then we'll uh, cut it down. My canvas opened up to a white background. That's what I wanted. Um, that's actually not what I wanted. I <laughs> take that back. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, convert this here or change it to a black background. I went Command Delete on the Mac. I believe it's Alt Delete on the um, PC if your black color is in your background um, and my foreground is white. What I've done, what I'm going to do is go over here and select the brush. I select uh, the first little brush there, size 30, and it's a soft brush. I'm using a soft edged brush. It's personal preference. You can use a hard brush. I would encourage you to experiment and practice and see what works best for the uh, brush that you want to create and for the image that you want to apply it to. I'm using a Wacom tablet or Wacom tablet and I'm going to right click here and um, with my pen and I'm going to increase the size. So just recapping, I have a black canvas set to 200 pixels per inch. I'm using a soft brush um, and I'm going to be drawing on a black canvas here with uh, a white foreground. One thing I also want to do here is create a new layer. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is if I make a mistake, I can erase it or delete it without having to start all over with a brand new canvas. You can, if you feel confident to draw on your black uh, background there, go right ahead. For me, my hand shakes a little bit and it's not, uh, it's not very steady, so I make a lot of mistakes. In any event, let's get started. My opacity, I'm going to set to 100% to start with. I'm going to go ahead and try to draw a freehand circle here. That's not bad. Not quite a circle, but it'll do for this demonstration purposes. I'm going to walk you through this rather quickly, but when you go to create your brush, I encourage you to take some time and uh, do some experimentation and see what works best. All right, so I've created a circle here. I'm basically drawing some highlights. That's what we're creating right now, the edges and the highlights. I'm going to drop my opacity down just a little bit here, let's say about 70. Bring it around, kind of taper it in. See, I've already messed up down here. We'll fix it. Um, and then I'll kind of bring another highlight around the top side. I'm going to bring my opacity back up. And again, you know, there is no right or wrong answer. It's just what you like. It's a personal preference here. And that's what I'm doing. It doesn't look like much right now, but trust me, it'll look pretty good when I'm done on my final image, okay? And again, like I said, experiment. Okay, so this looks eh, okay, but for, for the demonstration purposes, it will do. I'm going to go ahead and um, flatten this here, layer flatten the image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, crop I'm going to hold down my shift key so I can constrain it to a perfect square. Move this down. Image. Crop. Okay. Command D to deselect. And I went Command I to invert. I want to invert my uh, bubble. The next thing I'm going to do in uh, Photoshop CS5 is go Edit. 
define preset or define brush preset. I apologize. I'm going to give it a name. We're going to call this bad bubble brush. And I don't mean bad as in good. And that's not even how you spell bad. I'm not doing too good today. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now what I've done is I've defined my brush. Let's minimize this window and take a look. And let's go find, let's select a brush. Uh, get lost. Okay, let's come on down here and look for my brush. I have a lot of brushes loaded. And there it is, right there. How do I know? Because I deleted the previous brushes and this new one popped up. Okay, as you can tell, it doesn't look like much right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up the image I'm going to be using. I did not take this photograph, but uh, purchased it from uh, iStock Photo because I don't do underwater photography, and this brush application is pretty much used for underwater photography. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and right click with my pen and slide my size down a little bit to something more manageable. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look like much there. So what we're going to do is come over here to the shape dynamic in my brush presets. Adjust the jitter. And leave it there. Go down to scattering. And this is where we're going to break apart the bubble or the brush. And that's pretty much what I'm going to uh, touch there. Come back to the brush tip. And here I can play with the size of the brush. And then I'm going to create a separate layer. I've got my white foreground. I'm going to come up where I think the bubble should be. And you notice the bubble's there. I'm going to increase the size a little bit more. Create a new layer so I have a different layer with... Um, different sizes in case I wanted to change it and then probably bring this down a little bit more make it smaller grab uh, the eraser tool here Make it small. Uh, my opacity's down. There we go. We can do this with masks and stuff, but like I said, this is a, a quick tutorial. Tutorial, and, and uh, I just wanted to show you how to create a quick brush. Oops, that doesn't look very good, does it? I didn't intend for that to be there. <laughs> but in any event, you kind of get the idea, right? A little humor. All right, and so um, that's how you create a bubble brush in Photoshop CS5. And thanks for watching.